It's the most wonderful time of the year. Dong, ding, dong. Let's make it now. Today, number five, folks. How's it going there everyone? It's Mr. Zen over here bringing you guys another 12 days of anime special segment videos. And for today's segment guys, we are going to be talking about day number 5, Naruto Shippuden. Or the whole Naruto lore in general. Because for a fact that guys, I've been a big fan of Naruto for many many years. Even when I was in high school, Naruto has been the number one stable anime that I've always enjoyed and read the manga as well. But for 2016, you know there was a particular fight that I personally enjoyed because you know as many Naruto fans know, Naruto is has its in the anime community you could kind of say that it had its really long run of enjoyable fights and awesome battle sequences that they were involved throughout the whole Naruto lore itself. That you know whenever somebody thinks of anime they always think of Naruto because of the fights that always happen within. But let's get down to it guys. For day number 5 I'm going to be talking about is actually the fight between Naruto versus Sasuke. As many of Naruto fans like I said you guys many of know Naruto and Sasuke have always been fighting in Naruto. Then Naruto Shippuden and of course you know with the new brand new Naruto Boruto of course we're not really going to see that as much because of the fact you know they're, they've grown older. But personally, like I said, Naruto vs. Sasuke was literally the highlight of 2016 due to the fact that we all read the manga and we all enjoyed to see what happened. And personally, like I said, I wanted to see it and I saw it a couple days ago, by the way. I think it was yesterday I saw it. <laughs> and the fight was actually interesting in my honest opinion. Like, the whole fight was just intense that throughout the whole entire fight, guys, there was no soundtrack whatsoever throughout the whole entire fight. That's how you know the animators were th just giving that intensity of the fight between the last two warriors. You know, you just literally hearing is just the sounds of fists against this feet punching skin. You literally, oh, can't you, I'm sorry, feet kicking skin. You literally are just really just glued onto the screen and you're hearing these two just go all out and the way that Sasuke fights Naruto is just amazing in general. I believe it was a uh, the anime YouTuber Gigik that he actually talked about how very poetic this fight was actually like every action sequence was reminiscing the old Naruto and Sasuke fight that happened back in Naruto when first Nar when Naruto after he defeated the Sound 5 and he actually came up to Sasuke. Like literally, the fight had some reminiscing moments right there and then, and you're literally you're clearly wondering as to like what the heck, you know? They're literally kind of clearly showing the major differences that these two have gone through, you know. As you see Sasuke with Orochimaru and seeing all the power ups, he's got the Renan gun, the Monkey Kyu Sharing gun. You see this all in the fight itself, and you see Naruto with the trained Kurama right there and then. You see him with his Sage mode. You see everything that these two gave it all their best. That honestly, I thought was a very interesting moment right there and honestly the fight itself when they started actually queuing in the, uh, the awesome soundtrack from the, naruto, the original naruto series that's how you know that the fight is actually getting more intense because of the fact that they gave it their all already the whole their all their powers are already just explained right there and then and now that they're just now coming back to fist fighting again you just literally wonder like oh my god like the the action sequence is just picking up over and over and over again and honestly throughout the whole entire fight it looked like sasuke was actually winning naruto but if you guys take a closer look at the fight it literally looked like naruto was actually winning because he was holding back throughout the whole entire time honestly I literally saw Naruto as the one that's like, as if he's just caressing a baby saying, you know, just lash out at me. I don't care. I'll take all your pain. And honestly, that's why I saw Naruto as the stronger person right there. And even Sasuke broke out of character as he, there was a particular scene that kind of stood out when you're watching the fight was the fact that Sasuke was like literally a angry and frustrated to the point that he was just smashing the wall next to him and saying just give up Naruto just give up I'm tired now give up right and you're here like wondering like what the heck that's that the minute that particular scene popped out I thought to myself yeah Naruto won he won in general man because it looks like now Sasuke is now following Naruto's lead and Naruto was not particularly following Sasuke's lead he's just literally just letting him just let him attack honestly that's how it literally looked like to me and honestly the freaking fight itself was amazing 
the awesome choreograph that was actually involved in it was amazing for the animators to actually animate it itself as we get to see Sasuke show off his amazing I think it was uh, Indra's arrow like right there it's literally like these two kids have like nuclear power explosions happening but then you're wondering like how is no one just not noticing like seriously like if, the, if this was a real world right now and you guys are literally seeing that in the horizon you're wondering like oh my god man like it's naruto and sasuke fighting over again i'll let those two kids just go at it again like honestly it's just hilarious how like the naruto series have became to be and honestly the, you know, the fight itself kind of felt also quick pace because the fact that it lasted two episodes don't get me wrong and i believe i saw it on, on a youtuber and it, it was came out to like 40 minutes and everything but honestly, like those 40 minutes just go by like that because of the sheer intensity between these two that are fighting. The two ideals that they want as Sasuke wants to become the individual original person and, and be like, a, you could say, a leading antagonist in, in a sense because of the fact that he wants he wants people to hate him. He wants all that hate from the world to go at him. But Naruto says, no, we have to help people. We gain this power for a particular reason. Like I said, there's two different ideals that we're going about. Naruto is for the people and Sasuke is for individuality. It was kind of like literally like watching two politicians at work right there, but we just superpowers itself. Like I said, it's very entertaining to see this final fight. And honestly, I thought that was the highlight of the Naruto series in 2016. But let me know down in the comments below, guys, what was your favorite moment for Naruto in 2016 or overall in general? Let me know down in the comments, guys. And as always, guys, if you guys want to participate in the 12 days of anime, I will leave it in the description box below down there in somewhere around that area right there. And you guys can check it out if you guys want to sign up go ahead and do so as there are many other anime youtubers that are actually joining in this awesome challenge in itself and as always guys if you guys enjoy my content give a like comment share and subscribe for more mr zen's daily vlogs that's what you kind of say but as always guys have a wonderful day but this is mr zen signing out